Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Amelia. I am a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. Today it is Tip Tuesday, and I thought I would show you how I clean some shoes up for getting them ready for resale. So I have two leather shoes here. I have one that's kind of like a patent type leather. This is a dance go, and then I have a Nato. Nato. I don't know how you say that. N A O T shoe that's actual just regular leather. And it has quite a bit of wear to it, um, but I thought I'd show you how I at least work on the leather part and how I clean, well, just how I clean the shoes in general. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing, I'm going to tell you everything I use first. You need paper towels, your cleaning solution, which I use either water or soap or, or rubbing alcohol, depending on the shoe. Um, you might need a brush, suede brush. I don't think anywhere on here I will need that. Um, some kind of leather conditioner type stuff. This is Balsam, Wonder Balsam by Doc Martens. You don't need this kind. There are cheaper ones out available. This is just the kind I have right now. I might try the cheaper ones later on, but this works pretty good, and this is what I have right now. And then I also get one of these, like, polishing or glasses cleaner cloths and I'll show you why here in a second or not a second in a bit okay guys so sorry if I sound a little off today I'm still kind of tired um it's been kind of a long morning already it's just not even that late into the morning it just feels like it but anyways let's get started um the first thing I do I like to clean the soles with some rubbing alcohol on a paper towel like the bottoms. So let's do that real quick. I find that this gets most of the dirt off really fast. I try not to get it too much on the leather. Even if I do though, it usually dries down really fast. So. And I just usually do a quick wipe of the bottoms. See? Let's do both shoes up the same time that way we don't have to and look this one has the price on the bottom that's no problem just gonna put a little bit more rubbing alcohol on it and hopefully it'll come off not all the time though as you can see it's like nope you can't, I can't I'm not coming off there it goes it's starting to come off most of the time, rubbing alcohol takes it off marker on the bottom. Let me see if I can find my little <clears throat> rubbing toothbrush. Sometimes I do use a toothbrush to get things off. Of shoes. That must be some tough marker. That's all I gotta say. There we go. This tongue scraper on the back of the brush helps. I wonder if this would work better. Okay, that's pretty good. It's not perfect. I might go back over it here in a bit, but it's pretty good. Um, as long as I can't see the price, it really doesn't bug me if there's a little bit left over. Okay, so now that I've cleaned the bottoms, sometimes I will run a slightly a little bit of the paper towel with just a tiny bit of rubbing alcohol on the insides of the footbeds. Make sure there's no like gunk in there too by just looking. This one is suede so I'm not going to do that. But some if these do pop out, which I don't know if this one does, this one doesn't. But if this was to pop out I would use my suede brush on it. 
and clean it up real nice. Okay, so now that we've cleaned the bottoms, the insides of what we could, let's talk about the outsides. Now this one, what I usually start off by doing is I usually use one of these like eyeglass cleaners cloths because it's soft and I just um, kind of clean it off and sometimes I put a little, just a tiny bit of this on there. You don't want to put too much and you always want to test your, what you're working with to make sure it won't hurt it, the surface of it. So I basically just buff sh patching shoes. With one of these soft cloths. And I'm using this because this is what I have. And I get tons of these when I buy new glasses. It seems like I always have more than enough of these. Um, so I use them for this kind of stuff. <laughs> that's coming up really nice and shiny there's a spot over here I don't know if I'll be able to get this off sometimes you can use like a eraser or rubber or something um, to get scuffs out of this stuff but you have to be really careful so what I use um, when there's stuff in the shiny leather, like patching leather type stuff, I'm not sure if that's what this is called, but that's what I call it for the video. But anyways, I have two different kinds of erasers. This one is a boot eraser, and I would not use this on this type of thing. I use this on suede because it's really grainy, and I don't want it to hurt it. This is not grainy, and it's just a plastic, uh, art eraser. So I prefer to use this on these because it's softer. And that actually made it go, that little mark, almost go away completely. So, I just rub it in circular motion. Now it will leave this like weird scuff. So we just take a little tiny bit of rubbing alcohol. And <laughs> Buff it out. You don't want to put a lot of rubbing alcohol on here because I don't know how it reacts with the, the coating they put on the leather. I'm sure it's not going to be its friend if you douse it in it. So just be careful with that. Um, but see how much shinier just from there to there that is? I don't know if you can see that very well. Just from using a cleaning cloth on the scuffs and marks. I'm sure they have like shoe cleaning cloths, but sometimes you just have to use what you got. Okay. And really, after I clean these up, get the marks off and stuff and the scuffs and just kind of buff them out, that's pretty much all I do with these um, type of shoes, the patent type. That has a mark on there that's not going to come off, I'll just have to note that. And there we go, it's all nice and shiny and pretty, and that's how I clean these type of shoes now let's go on to a leather like a non patent type leather shoe now this one has some scuffing here a big line right here and it's just kind of tired looking so I'm gonna get some paper towels and just kind of wipe off the surface a little bit to make sure there's no dust or dirt or oops I used the wrong one Use the one with the rubbing alcohol in it. Not a good thing to do. Or not what I wanted to do. Anyways, I'm just going to get a regular paper towel and wipe off the 
um, dust. Make sure there's no dirt or anything on it. Okay. So, let's focus on the toe area first. That's usually where you have the most scuffing and problems, it seems like. So, this comes with a sponge and then just a little bit of, I just put a little bit of the balsam on there. And get to it. Now, sometimes I do put multiple coats on, but I always let the first one kind of soak up first. And I also will let them sit out for about a day or so after I do this before I put them away into my inventory just to make sure all the oil you know all the stuff's getting soaked up into the leather now this does have some chipping of the stuff right here that there's nothing I can really do about that but <laughs> Where do I make the leather at least look nice? So I work in circular motions on it. And see, I had put accidentally put some rubbing alcohol on the side and it already dried. So it doesn't really take very long for it to dry. Hey, right, let's work on this gouge. <laughs> now, this isn't going to, like, completely take these things away. It's just going to help them look better. And I'm all about doing, like, I don't like spending a lot of time cleaning things. Like, who does, right? Well, maybe some people enjoy it. I don't know, but I don't. And so I'm trying to make this, I've been trying to make my cleaning processes as fast as possible. And this is the best way i found to... Make it fat or do it fast, but make it look good. So maybe you can get some ideas from it. There's m several ways to clean shoes. Now these weren't too bad, but they did have some, it, it just like brings some life back into them using this type of stuff on them. You can use like a conditioner too or something. You know, there's different products you can use. I know there's cheaper ones than this. I think this is $10 on Amazon. You don't use very much of it. Okay, so like I said, it didn't take that scratch completely away, but it didn't make, it's not as noticeable like, in your face noticeable um, so yeah that is how I clean and prep my shoes to get photographed my leather shoes um, it looks pretty nice actually like I said if it was really bad scuffed up and stuff I would do this once set it to the side kind of let it dry down a little bit or soak up a little bit and then I would do it again so that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Tip Tuesday. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed and you like reseller content, make sure you hit the red button down below. Bye, guys.